<laughs> Happy 420, guys. And I hope everybody out there man, is having a good 420 day. And of course, we're back in the back in the dispensary. And as you can tell by the title and you can tell by the case, we have lights. So guys, this is what it'll look like once the customer comes. They'll have everything in display lighted up so they can see, you know, good and they can see what they want. So I think it looks real good with the addition of the lights in there. It brings it out, it brings it more, um, more pop for the customer so when they come, they can see everything. So I wanted to show you guys the updates and here it is, man, we got lights in the case and man, we're just trying to get it together. Okay guys, so as you can see in the back, we made an addition at the last minute. We changed it around. So since this is gonna be like a lounge looking area, we painted it black. So it's all done. Man, it looks real, real good. I like it. I'm glad that we made the call at the last minute to change it up. So here it is, man. This black in this uh, lounge area will eventually get a couch in here, but we're not gonna start off with it right now because we don't have it. But this is what it'll look like. As you can see, we got Cheech and Chong on the TV, and that's what we'll play in this room all day is, you know, weed friendly, weed movies, you know, Cheech and Chong, Friday, Half Baked, you know, all of the favorites that the uh, stoners like. And I, and it makes it look like a lounge area. Then we have the music that'll play all day. Um, I got the, uh, my iPad mini from home, just hooked up to the speakers because I was once a DJ for a little bit and I'm still gonna pick back up once we get this thing going, but yeah. So we just got the iPad and um, you know, we'll just push play. We'll keep it at a low. We'll keep it at a low volume during the day so we can hear the customer. Won't scare people off, but we will be having music in here and it will be rap music. So, just wanted to show you guys the lounge area update. And this is what it's looking like, man. It's all black and it's looking good to me. Okay, guys. So, we added these benches. So, these benches will be here for the customer. When they come in, it might be a way on a Saturday and it'll definitely be a way when people are off and people are moving around and busy and during the week there will be a way so we added these two benches here for the customer to chill and wait and they can sit comfortably so it's the same carpenter that did everything in the shop of course he did great work he added these benches and man they're just great for just you know just just for the customer to sit down for a minute while we take care of the other customer at the uh, present moment. So, these pictures are good. Man, they got our name on it. Looks really cool, man. So, yeah. These are the pictures for the waiting area that we have to um, add for the customers to wait. We'll take the card and we'll ask them to have a seat or look around and they'll sit down right here, pretty comfortable in the back and just chill and wait man to get you know to get the prescription so these are it guys two of them you never know how busy we'll get so you know you don't want to just have one so we have two guys okay guys as you can see we had some bullshit going on right here we had somebody overnight about a week ago uh Man, the landlord, they texted us on a Sunday night late and said somebody has knocked out your window. It was knocked out. We had to come at, um, at 11 to 12 o'clock at night, bust out the rest of the window so all the glass will fall and then we had to board it up, you know. So this is just bullshit that we got to go through, guys. We're not going to let it get to us. We're not going to let it discourage us. We're going to keep on going. We don't know who did it. We're not going to think about who did it because... That'll just worry yourself. We don't know who did it, but we know that we have to get it taken care of so we can get it open. So this is what we're going through right now, guys. It's kind of delayed. It's kind of not. We kind of don't got the money, of course. So we're going to get this done. We're not going to let it discourage us, and we're going to take care of it. But I did want to show you guys the authentic 
we are going through bullshit. There is, um, there's always going to be bullshit thrown your way, but it is about how you respond to it. So, a whole window that we have to, um, man, replace. It's in the process of getting replaced. So, man, that's all. That's all that we can ask for. It's going to be plenty more bullshit, but it's always about how you respond. And here it is. Okay, guys, so we've been getting the register stuff in, the POS system. So we decided to go with a company where I can use my Mac laptop from home, which I told you guys that I did a little bit of DJ, so I still had this Mac, which came in handy. And the printer, um, the printer receipt box to print the receipt and the actual cash drawer. So, we're gonna use the Mac and it's gonna hook up through the USB for the printer and then there's a phone cord from the printer to the cash drawer. So, I'm still learning, I'm still going through training, but I did wanna show you guys that we did um, finally go with a company with the POS. They seem like a pretty good company, pretty good reviews. So we're gonna have to change my DJ background because you know it's kind of ghetto and hood because that's what we do at nightlife. So we're gonna change that to a um, you know all green, just something where it's customer friendly. And then um, man, we're just gonna start getting the inventory in eventually, and we'll start putting it in the system once I learn how to work the system. But I did want to show you guys the update. The POS, um, the POS system is here. I am going through training. It is pretty tough just to get the inventory and stuff down, but it is new. So that's what you got to go in and say that it is a new experience and you can't let it get to you. I'm not going to know it because it is new. And with that attitude, I shouldn't let it get to me like I've been letting it get to me. So we're going off the Mac, MacBook Pro. And um, I think this is a MacBook Pro, but yeah, we're gonna go off this laptop. It's gonna be hooked up and everything will work out. Got these scanners to scan the ID once the customer come in. We'll take their driver license. We'll scan it inside the iPad, my other iPad that we have. And then we'll check them in. We'll take their card and get them going. And then we'll add we'll have a menu on the counter so they can look through or we can just get it off the shelf deli style they call it put it on the shelf and let them see it you know like i do when i go to dispensaries right now i like to see it off the shelf i like to see it smell it and, and see what i'm getting for my dollar because i need the best deal because i don't have a lot of money like that so yeah pos Man, we're trying to get it done, guys. We really are. It's been a, um, man, it's been a long process, but it seems like it's the finish line if we can just get to it. So we have two more application things to do to clear, which they are in the process right now. So we're looking at May, guys. We're looking at next month to be uh, realistic. I, um, and I know I said I'll go live, but I've just been busy with this dispensary, guys. So please bear with me on that. I am going to make time to go live and, and chat with you guys if if you want to, you know. But I am busy. I am trying to get it done, guys. Uh, man, the weather's been up and down. That's why I have a jacket on today. I don't know. Man, it's been spring, winter. But hopefully, man, when the sun comes out for good, we will be open. And that's the goal. So I just wanted to give you guys an update. Um, and the next one to be the actual sign because we do have the sign people scheduled to come out and put the signs up so I'm definitely going to show you guys that man so stick with me man it's been a journey it seems like it's almost about to end and we're almost about to open but we got to finish some things to get it open guys and you see that window we have to get that done so we can open we have to get 10 on that window so people can't see inside we have to get 10 on the front door. We have to get 10 on the office door. Um, we have the street sign out there that needs our name on it. 
and we need the inventory to get in here so we can put it in the containers. So there's still work to be done, but I did want to update you guys. So have a good 420 out there, guys. You know, don't get too, too up there. Don't get too sky up there, but please enjoy yourself. And I thank you guys for sticking with me and coming along with me on my journey to opening up my dispensary. Thank you, guys. <clears throat>